one and welcome to Kimmy Shrine. So this is a playlist I do where it's like a bit of a DIY Disney base. I've showed you how to make cushions out of old jumpers, how to get certain makeup looks and today I'm showing you how to make these ears. So these are um, Halloween inspired ears. Um, I have made other ears on this channel before. It's just I thought now being Halloween I thought I'd show you how to do these ones. So yeah if you want to know how to make them then keep on watching. So these are the things you're going to need. So I would suggest get a headband that is quite sturdy so it's quite thick as well. Um, I would always suggest to test the headbands and make sure obviously they don't hurt and pinch because obviously these are going to be ears you're going to wear around the park and things like that. Um, you don't obviously want them to hurt. I do prefer the ones with a wider band. It just gives you a bit better structure. Um, I'm actually using a blue one today to obviously go with our theme. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is fabric. So these are just to make the ears with. So this actually just came from an old t-shirt that I had. Um, obviously any fabric would do. Um, ideally I want a black but I ran out of the black so I might do the bow in black but I thought grey won't be too bad anyway. I do already have some pre-cut out ears so these are kind of your templates obviously to make sure that when you put them on the band they're kind of the right size. Um, I do normally draw around these a little bit bigger to give myself a bit extra when I'm obviously sewing them um, but yeah no so always have like a bit of a template. Obviously if you've already got some ears and maybe just draw around them or like I said get your own headband and draw the ears yourself just to see obviously how big you want them. So I've got some red felt so this obviously is to make the poison apple with and I thought it'd be quite cool so I'm going to try and use some glitter glue to obviously be the poison on the top so I'm going to try and do that. Little whatever accessories that you need obviously like um, fabric glue, scissors, um, obviously sewing kit, that kind of thing. One of the things you're going to need as well is something to fill your um, ears with. Um, recently we actually sorted our attic out and I found so much bubble wrap so I've actually tested this with a few other ears that I've got and I've actually been using bubble wrap for my ears. Um, the other ones I used to do was cotton wool, just get like the cotton wool balls and obviously use those. You can use anything that you want just to kind of fill it out. You can just use like felt or some form of padding. But personally, I've been using this recently, so this is what I'm gonna be using today. So basically what I'm gonna be doing first is I'm actually gonna be doing the ears. So with my templates, I'm literally just gonna put them on my fabric and then I'm just gonna draw around them, but I'm actually gonna do them a little bit bigger. Like I said, just give myself a little bit more room to then um, sew them. So I'm literally just going to dot around. So I'm actually going to do this again because obviously you need some for the front and some for the back. All you need to do now is to cut those out. So now I've cut these out, they don't have to be perfect, that's why we've got the line to obviously go over. So the only thing you need to do now is basically where you've got the um, ink bit, that's going to be your middle bit because that's the bit you don't want to see. Put one on top of the other, making sure that the ink bit is on the middle. So all you're going to do now is you're just going to sew, so however you want to do it. So I always start in this corner, go all the way around, and then I stop at this corner because you need to leave the opening to actually put the filler in. So I've just got to the end bit there, so what I'm going to do, I'm now going to turn this inside out. And then what I'm going to do, this is where I'm going to fill it. Like I said, I'm actually going to be using um, bubble wrap to do this. So the best technique I've found is to take a few strips to then fold it up. So to make it like that and then to kind of fill it around there and then fill the middle bit. Now it can be a little bit tricky just because obviously uh, you still got this bit attached because you need this bit to um, sew it up later. I did used to glue them up, but I just found it got a bit messy. So I've now gone to the technique of trying to sew the rest of that bit up. So it's up to you to decide obviously how poofy you want it. Um, I don't want it too poofy just because I don't want it too heavy. Because I've been making these for a while, I kind of know what kind of fullness I wanted. So once you actually get to the fullness that you want to, all you need to do now is just sew the end bit up. So 
so that is the first ear done so I'm just gonna go and do the other one for you guys and then we'll do the apple on top so now you've got your ears so this is what it looks like this is why it comes in handy to have templates like this because obviously that is your template for your ears and the fact that we're actually now going to use felt you can actually use the templates on the felt so what I'm going to do one side of it is obviously going to be the drawing side whereas the other side that's going to be the side that's actually going to be on the ears so it doesn't matter how much mess I make on this side so what I'm going to do first I'm actually going to draw around the ears and then I can actually draw the pattern of the apple to make sure that they would then fit on on these ones this is a case of obviously drawing the apple shape on here now the good thing is because this is going to be our drawing side doesn't matter how many mistakes you do because when we cut it out you're only going to see this side but once you're happy with that if you think right that's a good apple shape then you cut it out Now this is the fun part, so I'm just going to go and turn it around on this side. I'm actually going to practice how I actually want the, the lines to go, um, because I've not drawn this much before. <laughs> um, I'm just like maybe thinking, alright, so that is maybe one eye, that's the other eye, uh, that would be the nose, and then obviously this is going to represent the rest of it, almost like teeth. So I think, okay, that's quite a good one. So I can use that as a template. So obviously when I draw it on the good side here, I can use that as a template and then do the opposite to, to that one, if that makes sense. Because I'm using this glitter glue, um, I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. So what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm gonna go around the edge. So very, very carefully. So I would say, take your time with this. And now I'm just going to start the pattern. Ooh, and breathe. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to do the nose. And now I'm just going to do the eyes. I think that's actually quite good to be honest, so especially because that's my first, first try. Now, I'm debating whether to obviously fill it in or whether to leave it as it is. Um, I might leave it to dry and then come back to it, but because now I've done that, I can I use that as a template for this one. Oh, and it really hurts your hand after a while. So I would say take your time with this because it does really hurt. Yeah, like I don't think that's too bad. Like obviously it does look like the poison apple, so I don't think that's actually too bad. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna let that dry and then we'll stick it onto here. Right, so now that's all dried, I'm just gonna stick these onto the ears. Now the best thing to do, is obviously where we've got this little bit here, to try and match it with that. So that's the whole point of obviously having these templates, obviously you can make sure that the apple would actually fit on the ears. Um, I'm just using normal fabric glue, so that's what I'm using in there and then I do have things like this that grip them so just in case when you obviously stick it down because it's on a curve if it doesn't stay down properly I use these to kind of grip it just kind of get the glue there in place So once you're happy that that is stuck down, I'm just going to take that off. So once you're happy that it's completely glued down, just need to place where you want the ears to go. Now it's optional whether you wanted to have a bow in the middle. So obviously if you're going to do a bow, you need to leave a gap. But it's obviously working out which one goes where. Like do you want that on that side or the other side? But all you're going to do is you're actually just going to glue along where that seam is there and then glue it on. And yet again, I'm going to use these ones to kind of clamp it down. So 
So yeah, so that is the finished ears. Um, I decided to not do a bow on this one. Um, if you do want to do a bow, you can do. I have actually done bows on other videos on this playlist for you. So this is the, the finished ears. I really like them. Uh, the good thing about these is that because I've done nothing on the back, it means I can do something else on there. So for example, when I did my Ursula one, so I had Ursula on one side with a bow, but then on the other side I did a Hades one. So it just means that the fact that you've only got one pattern on one side, you can obviously flip them around and have another character on there as well. So yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you did, then please give me a big thumbs up. I appreciate it if you liked and subscribed and you click the bell notification, obviously you get notified when all my other videos go up. But yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys next time. Later days.